hello out there uh in uh, you know uh, modern wave technologies you will be finding that uh, you know developer uses uh, more of a dynamic content than a static html code uh and why this is being taken because you know these days the applications or the solutions the web based solutions are more or less tailor made according to the user uses okay and user choices now whenever you go to some for example whenever you go to some uh, e-commerce applications what do you find you find a checkout page and in the checkout page you mostly you will see only two kinds of parameters first there will be a value of all the items that has been chosen by you at the same time the application will show you the username through which you have logged in into the application and this will be session based okay now uh, this is this is uh, not uh, you know like uh, the old days the static html code that you can you know create thousands of pages for individual users because that will be a big big no no now all these username are filled into the applications uh, either from their cookies or from the session uh, based on the logic used by the developer now uh, but uh, you know all these things you know as uh, certain as the web technologies grows uh, uh, like uh, you are taking the you know logics logics uh, could have their uh, you know different uh, faults but uh, whenever we grow with time we basically try to implement new uh, kinds of thing that basically try to solve your problem uh, easily now server side templates or the template engines basically the provides an easier methods of managing the dynamic generation of html code than the mess that we have already you know uh, done in past like creating now what this server side template basically do uh, they will just try to create a dynamic html pages and you know uh, based on the you know uh, they will take all the codes uh, from the uh, database and uh, you know uh, provide you a, a placeholder kind of thing in which you have to just replace the placeholder with the dynamic value now most of the placeholders are basically you know uh, you know uh, given uh, in uh, curly braces uh, like you are seeing in the screenshot number 2 and uh, but uh, now different 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 applications because you know the developer will choose different kind of applications so based on different kind of application there will be different kind of uh, template engines like for php that could be twig the for python that could be jinja or uh, you know uh, tornado or whatever okay so all these uh, all this template uh, placeholder will be uh, you know replaced by the uh, uh, um, uh, items or the variables from the server side okay now as certain uh, as uh, you know technology grows a uh, new technology comes uh, it comes with their uh, own uh, lacunas okay and uh, there will be some uh, uh, vulnerabilities which can uh, seriously be exploited in such a way that uh, entire server of the uh, uh, website uh, could be compromised similarly uh, things is happening with a uh, server side template and this uh, exploitation is called server side template injection okay and in server side template in injections we have seen a uh, tons of cases where the attacker could uh, um, you know um, achieve the remote code execution in the server okay whenever some kind of you know unsanitized input is uh, being passed to uh, the functions okay then uh, forgetting the basic you know security uh, norms then these vulnerabilities can lead to um, execute rce also so in this particular video i'll be demonstrating you uh, two use cases uh, based on two template engines uh, first i'll be choosing a php based template engine that is called twig and second is a python based uh, template engine that is called tornado the first one that i have coded uh, at my end and uh, it will be running on the local host and second uh, that is a part of a ctf that i have recently you know participated on 4th of uh, december so i'll be presenting clubbing both these use cases of, uh, in this video only for your understanding thoroughly that how uh, sst i can be exploited and uh, uh, at the same time i'll presenting you one tool that is uh, sstii uh, map and this is a very popular tool uh, though i'll uh, though i'm not a tool fan i uh, mostly i try to create my own customized tool according to my need 
but still because the tool is in vogue so i thought that why not uh, try to sh uh, show you a glimpse of this tool as well you can read uh, about this tool in github also because this is very popular so we, uh, you'll have uh, and there are tons of features in this tool which can be readily used by any pen tester okay so in just uh, time to come i'll be demonstrating you that uh, the use case number one that is the tweak based uh, template injection and uh, how this template injections will uh, achieve me uh, give me the remote code execution in the server as a part of challenge uh, there are two flags and uh, our motive would, would be uh, just to extract the content of this flag and if you could extract the content of the flag then it would be the thing now exploitation part is the major thing okay as i am showing in the uh, you know uh, documents just uh, before your screen the exploitation part is very much important so you should understand that how uh, server side template injections if not properly configured then it can lead to different uh, different kind of attacks against the server okay so without taking much time let's uh, jump into the demo number 1 and i think uh, okay let's uh, in the back uh, let me fire my xamp and uh, okay mm, okay so xamp is had jam is started and okay in some time only it will launch the application okay so it's taking a bit of time xamp is running it's up and running okay so let's see uh why it is taking too much time here okay uh okay i think it's not connected to the database right now so let me connect to the database uh database okay it is connected to database now so okay so here is the application okay so application is there and this application is presenting you two challenges and challenges just before you we have to read the flag.txt file now to read the flag.txt file i have got two uh, options for uh, for that uh, i will be using the ssti map as well to exploit this and at the same time i have coded my own probe uh, for ssti injection to detect the ssti injection so this is not a wholesome tool but uh, it can be further customized to you know find out uh, the you know detection in different kind of uh, in different scenarios also so one scenario i'm presenting another scenario and uh, i'll be presenting in such a way that this probe will uh, you know assist you in uh, just uh, getting the first hand uh, first hand on the initial hold of an application okay rather, and then you have to create your own um, uh, payload rc payload based on the uh, documentation of template documentation uh, used by the server okay so i am just firing my ssti map with the urls and uh, i hope it will give me some certain result out of it so it's a python based tool and it just required only two parameters minus u u for url and i'll be just putting up the you know url of my local host and let's see so this particular application is just asking for my name and if I'll just put a name, it will just present me the name. Just an eco thing. So let's see. I think you must be having a whip that why not accesses I have tried. But see, accesses is not the agenda right now. So I'm not focusing on accesses. But yes, accesses is one, one of the things that can be executed in SSTI. In this case, our main focus is to understand the how RC can be achieved. Okay. So I'm just focusing on that. So let us jump to SSTI map, uh, GitHub repo, and you can see there are tons of features associated with this SSTI map uh, tool, which can be uh, used by you. Uh, but this is not the right video where I'll be showing you each and every cases. Uh, you can try at your hand. If, if uh, you are finding any, any difficulty and understanding, please reach out to me through comment box and I'll be happy to help you. At the same time, if you are finding our video very interesting uh, for your career growth, then please recommend to your friend in the fraternity. They will also get benefit of it. At the same time, uh, I would ask you, I have repeatedly asked you that please uh, share your views uh, uh, that uh, what kind of content you would like to see or what kind of things that you'd like me to change. Then I'll just uh, happy to incorporate all those things. 
uh, for the betterment of everyone okay and uh, at the same time you can see that sti map is come with a different kind of uh, template engines uh, exploitation so this is a, definitely a big tool covering a big area and this is my small tool based on python i'll be as usual i'll be putting up this code in my github repo uh, for your uses and uh, i hope you'll be having a, a you know, fun time with it so let's try to uh, execute my code and see it is giving me the payload value 3 into 3 okay so let's let's use this payload uh, to the application uh, and let's see what we are getting so this is hello 9 okay so there, there is some kind of uh, there is some kind of you know um, uh, code execution is possibilities so i'll be uh, what i did i just read the documentation of twig and uh, you know uh, uh, try to create a payload of mine if you don't know if you don't understand the payload but uh, if you don't understand that how to create payload then i'll be posting a separate video on that but for the time being you can uh, you can have the payload cheat sheet code in, in different github repo and you can keep them handy uh, during your testing time at the same time in my next video i'll try to you know post a video uh, ssti injection uh, behind a firewall web application firewall so that would also give you a uh, kind of understanding that uh, when the application is behind the firewall this how a simple payload has to be customized in order see. to bypass the web and execute and eventually in the application to get so the desired result. Show you. So uh, right now I'm trying to read uh, the host name and uh, I hope I'll be getting the host name also. See the host name is Acer Somi. Since this is a uh, window based application so I have to use window based command so I'm just using dir. Uh, for the directory listing so i can see six ds directories are there in that uh, folder uh, <clears throat> so let's try to read now the flag.txt and uh, to read the same i have to use the command type flag.txt and i hope i'll be getting my flag easily okay so flag.txt and this is the flag you are a genius okay now we'll uh, without wasting much time we'll be uh, jumping into the demo number two which is based on python and tornado is our template engine now again uh, to exploit the same you have to read the documentation of tornado and you should understand that how payload will work in that and for payload creation of payload as i have told you i promised you that i'll be coming up with a separate video otherwise this video will be pretty long uh, just i'm just showing the exploitation part in here and uh, how to create the payload if you are having any issues then please reach out to me okay i'll help you in that also okay so this is uh, this particular demo uh, i'm taking is from the recent ctf and uh, the ctf uh, uh, was is, this uh, uh, challenge was of i think 100 or 50 50 marks uh, 50 marks i think uh, it was it was a simple uh, demo a simple uh, um, ctf uh, simple problem statement sorry now i'm just since it's a python based so i'm just here trying to use the uh, os uh, trying to import the os because os uh, in python uh, offers you varieties of uh, you know system based command execution so uh, i'm just trying to use that so see you can uh, i just try to read the file and it gave me the look me look at me.txt now after i get the look at me.txt uh, my entire concept is for rc is to read this file and you can easily uh, read this file using cat command so i'll be just using cat and uh, look at me.txt and it will be give me the content the later half of this problem is uh, just uh, the further you know uh, procedures that how to receive the flag because the uh, challenge has given me two uh, base 64 encoded string and uh, you know uh, there were certain uh, clues in there the like uh, about the cookies and how cookies are you know further uh, can be you know modified in the using the you know web web developer tools that is already being shown so see the second part of this uh, base encoded uh, string uh, translate to uh, part of the problem so i'll just put the part of the problem and it will definitely going to give me certain thing okay okay the source code okay the source code there is something in the source code is also hidden and i think it is hidden because the color is being used as white so you know therefore you should not leave anything uh, unturned you should uh, then only you can get uh, that if a developer is hiding something behind the screen or not 
now the part of the problem let's see okay i think the double uh, okay forward slash is there so let's remove one okay okay so alice has two cookie bob has this are you joe so let's try to uh, manipulate the cookies of joe using the application and i'll just put the value of uh, joe's cookie and we'll be getting our flag now uh, i hope uh, these two demonstration uh, had helped you to understand the template injection injection and exploitation and um, we, in our second series of this template injection i'll be bringing that how to create the payload and um, one template injection bear behind the firewall so these two videos are remaining uh, stay tuned with us and keep uh, like us uh, liking us and subscribe uh, and share to your friends as well thank you have a great day